welcome back to another Spurs Ladies Match Day vlog. I'm so excited to be going back. It's been a while since I've been there. In fact, the last time was against Bristol, where we won 2-0 in the Continental Tyres Cup. Now, since then, we've played three games. One was in the league, away at Watford, where we drew one all. One was in the cup, away at Yeovil, where we beat them 2-1 after going with a goal down. And then one was at home, again in the cup, against Brighton, where unfortunately we lost 4-1. Now, we're back in the cup against Doncaster Bells. Now, this Sunday is an important game for many reasons. It is the last day of Girls Football Week, an FA organised week, which is, I think it's organised twice a year. It's incredibly good. They in encourage young players or just newbies to get more involved in the sport. I think it's getting a lot more coverage this time around. I looked into it a bit more yesterday, so it's really, really exciting what they've got going on. I'm so glad, obviously, Spurs are taking part of it as well. And also, it is November, it is Remembrance Sunday, so the armed forces will be leading out the girls, which is a huge thing. So this game is not only important just for the actual football game, but because it is Girls Football Week and Remembrance Sunday as well. In honour of that, I have taken off two of my poppy badges from my uh, scarf. I can't hold these properly. Oh, there you go. So you can see them. So yes, in honour of Remembrance Sunday, I'll be wearing these on my coat as I've taken them off my scarf this time round. And let's get going up to Cheshire and come on you Spurs ladies! I'm just linking up with Spurs Lady Snapchat, so, well, you won't see it. Maybe if it goes up in time, you'll see the half time when my full time thoughts are up. But yeah, get them adding and watch them. They're new to Snapchat and they'll be always covering every game on match days. I'm here with proud Lily White. You've been nominated for an award. Please tell me a bit more about it. We have. It's the Football Supporters Federation Fans for Diversity Award. And it looks at the, um, the work that fan groups do to promote diversity in football. So there's six groups nominated, two LGBT groups us and Proud and Palace. Um, we're really proud of the work that we do with fans, with the club, etc. And we'd really, you know, we're really delighted to have been recognised for this. And obviously, we hope we win because Brilliant, who yeah. doesn't want to win stuff? Of course, no, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. What? Oh. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Go on. So, half time, 2 0. <sighs> we should have had a goal, but it was ruled offside, and then we lost the ball in midfield, and they just counter attacked and scored from it, really. It's, and then the second goal just came as well. They they put us under a lot of pressure, but mainly because we've been giving the ball away. Too many loose balls. All the second balls are there, so any one-on-one -on -one tackles, they just get to the ball. We need to get stuck in a bit more. Our midfield is pretty much non-existent. Our back four has to do everything. Ash Noville was brilliant so far. Um, we're using our wide players as well, but our strikers need to hold up the ball a bit more. We need to do some quick one-twos. If we can't get stuck in physically, then at least a few quick one-twos. But yeah, anyway, so that's what we can turn it around. Look how amazing it is. My battery's dying. I made it here. Why do I always have to run? I really should type myself better. Second half was a little bit better. 
we got a goal back but we lost 4-1. Better play, made some half subs, Ugh, subs at half time, helped a bit but just wasn't all day in the end of the day. Hope you enjoyed.